I'm going to disagree with you. I think that KD has gone and grabbed the torch and is now sitting on the mantle in the, in the uh, NBA. Here's what we do as consumers. The moments matter, right? And in this playoffs, especially a playoffs in which the Lakers have already been sent home, one, two, three, Cancun, uh, Kevin Durant gave us the moment that we're going to be talking about for quite some time. And quite honestly, moving forward, I'm looking at the complexion of this series completely different, whether or not Kate Kyrie is able to return or if James Harden is able to go full strength. I think what we overlooked in this conversation going into this game, we've been lulled to sleep just a little bit by this idea of super teams. And KD had running mates with him in Golden State, and he had running mates originally. That was the plan in Brooklyn. And I think we forgot just how lethal the one solo entity, that being Kevin Durant, could absolutely be. My favorite post-game quote coming out of this was from James Harden. He's like, you know, you saw the game slow down for Kevin last night. In the second half, he's directing guys. He's getting to his spots. And when he elevates, there's nothing anyone not close to his height can do. <coughs> the dude that didn't want to guard Giannis. I mean, I'm sorry, KD. Wow. That's close to his height. <laughs> it's but like anyway, that, huh? Um, he was 100 he was 100% comfortable. And I think when you see elite scorers and athletes in their zone, this is why, and this is the promise of Kevin Durant.